Now, I'm rather pressed for time, so I didn't really have time to uh, record a proper intro, so I guess you'll have to deal with this. Yesterday, I made a video about Modly, a delay I think everyone should have, and a lot of people wanted to know if you could control it uh, through MIDI. And yes, of course, you, you can control a lot of audio units inside AUM, and so that's why I'm making this video. So, hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host, and you're about to watch a video on MIDI controlling stuff inside AUM. Right, so here we have AUM loaded, and we also have two MIDI controllers. Now this is the Korg Nano Key Studio, and this is the Korg Nano Control Studio. I'm using both of these through Bluetooth at the moment. It doesn't really matter what type of MIDI controller you're using, as long as you have a MIDI controller that can connect to your iPad or iPhone, either through a USB MIDI system, or maybe a Legacy DIN 5 to USB MIDI system, or a Bluetooth Bluetooth MIDI system. Once it is connected to your iPad or iPhone and turned on, they will show up inside the MIDI systems where you can sign them to different uh, apps. Okay, so I've decided to use the Korg Nano Key Studio to map a few knobs to a few audio unit uh, extension plugins. And this can be done with stuff being loaded inside an effect slot and also in an input slot. Okay, so we need a channel, so I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add a audio channel. Now, for the input, I'm gonna choose an audio unit extension, of course, and I'm gonna choose Viking Synth here by Blamsoft. In the input effect slot, I'm gonna choose Modly. The first thing we need to do is to assign the Nano Key Studio to this channel so that we can use it. Now, we do that by tapping on the channel name and then on these um, little mixer faders here. It looks like mixer faders. Once we tap that, we enter the MIDI system. Now, we're getting prompted because uh, there are no MIDI sources connected. So we just need to tap on MIDI sources. And here we can see all available MIDI sources. Here we also have Nano Key Studio Bluetooth and Nano Control Studio Bluetooth. If you had any other controller, it would show up in this list. Now, I'm just gonna use one of them, but I'm gonna activate both of them just to show you that, yes, you can do that. You can have multiple controls connected to one channel at any given time. And you can do that on multiple channels. So now that we've assigned some MIDI controllers to this channel, we're gonna back out of this. And if we scroll down here, we can see that it says Viking Synth parameters and Modly parameters. And here is where we map knobs to functions inside audio unit extensions. So in order to access this, we simply need to tap on it. So I'm gonna start with Viking Synth, and then I'm gonna go down until I find the uh, filter section. Here we have the filter cutoff. So we just tap that and I wanna use MIDI Learn. So I press Learn and then all I need to do is to turn one of these knobs. I'm gonna turn this one and there we go. If we jump out of this window and open up Viking Synth and go to Filter, we can see that I now have control over the cutoff. It's really this simple. Now we can do the same thing with Modly, but first we need to open up Modly and just make sure that we have some parameters to actually control because right now the loop rack, for instance, is empty and I wanna control something inside the loop rack. So I'm gonna choose another preset here. I'm gonna go down to FX and Starship. Whoops, uh, that will do spooky mouse i think i need glasses soon okay so what i want to do is i want to control the pitch knob inside the uh, pitcher module here is where it can get a little bit uh, weird because when we open up the parameters well you'll see what i mean so we're gonna go into the midi settings again by tapping on the channel name and then opening up the midi system by tapping on the faders right there and going into modly parameters now, if we scroll down here, we can see that it begins with pre-slot one, parameter one, pre-slot one, parameter two, pre-slot one, parameter three, and it goes up to six, and then it starts over again from two. So pre-slot two, parameter one, pre-slot two, parameter two. And so this can be a bit hard to navigate. Now, I wanted to control the pitch knob inside the third pitcher model in the loop rack chain. So we need to scroll down until we find loop. And here we have loop slot one, two, three, and four. And 
People might be saying, hey, Jacob, you said number three and you're right. I just want to show you what you do when you do something wrong. So I'm going to do it wrong by doing that, pressing learn and doing that. And then I finally realized my mistake. Oh, no, I mapped the fourth slot. How do I fix this? Well, to remove a wrongly mapped parameter, you simply slide that parameter to the left like this and then press clear. OK, so we've removed it. Now let's go to the right one. We wanted to map something in loop slot three parameter one and tap there. Now I'll press learn again and like that. And there we go. I finally managed to map the right knob to the right function inside Modly. And this is how you map MIDI controllers to audio unit extensions inside AUM. Now, if you need a video on how to control uh, mixer faders and other functions like uh, internal effects that you can find inside AUM, then I have a perfect video for you. You can find it up here in this card where I'll also put in the video about Modly down in the description. You'll also be able to find links to all of the apps and all of the gear that I'm using. Thank you so much for watching. Now, all comments and ratings are, of course, very, very appreciated. If you want to help me out and this channel, and if you feel that this video was valuable to you in some way, or if you want to see me make more of these, then why not hit that like and um, also subscribe. If you want to support me in, in any other way, then you have PayPal, uh, Patreon. If you want to check out my music, you can find me at Bandcamp and you can also find uh, my music and the latest album I've made, my mellow album, over at jakobhack.com. Remember, Jakobhack is always spelled with a K. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it. Schlafen Wasser. Is this is this water for sleeping? I, I don't care, I need it now. Yeah, that's feels great. We're still waiting for a lot of YouTubers to come and a, a lot of other people. I met up with uh, Rob Pack 